السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن محمد عبده رسوله أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters I want you to imagine the day of judgment Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us in a hadith that the sun will so come so close to a person's head that a person will be drowning in their own sweat. Some people, the sweat will reach their ankles. Others, sweat will reach their knees. Others, sweat will reach their hips. And others will be drowning in their own sweat. The day where a person will flee and run away from his mother, from his father, from his children, from his friends, because he is afraid that these people will come and ask him for one good deed. On the other hand, in another hadith, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned different categories of people that will be relaxing under the throne and will be shaded on this day where there is no shade except the shade from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's arsh. And two of the categories the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned, one of them is a youth who spent his youth in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second is a person whose heart is attached to the masjid. In order to fulfill these two categories, the Islamic Center of Naperville is holding a fundraising dinner on May 7, 2011. And the goals of, these, of this project is to attract youth to the masjid. All of us want our youth to come to the masjid and to be part of our community. So in order to do that, we must bring them in first. And a good way to do that is through the use of a gym. And we want to have a community center as well, so we can have projects where we can bring people and attract them to the masjid and be part of our community. One of the greatest deeds that a person can commit is something called Sadaqatul Jariya, which is perpetual charity. A person will come in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment and he'll be given great rewards. He'll be given the reward of someone who has memorized the Qur'an. He'll be given the reward of someone who has left haram and came and started to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person will get the reward of many, many good deeds and actions. And a person will say, I didn't do any of these things, but why am I getting the reward? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then tell him, remember, you contributed, you gave money to build that center and establish that center. In that center, there were children who used to recite the Qur'an throughout the day and throughout the night. There were children who became ulama. There were children who left haram and came to the masjid and came closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This center became a reason why people's hearts became attached to the masjid. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives us all the ability to contribute to this great task. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He allows us to be people who are involved in this project. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's work will get done. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of His projects and the only thing that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to allow us to contribute to His projects. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of us understand the importance of contributing to this project and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the tawfiq and the ability to be amongst those who participate and contribute. Zakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa